What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Myers World and right now we're going to be talking about the Crucible promo. How are you going to prepare for it? It's dropping this week. Obviously EA Sports when they create these new promos sometimes it's like yo what are they doing? Uh, you know with the Genki Force it's a lot of things that they change you know variables with and it's supposed to impact the game in a different manner. What I would like you guys to know is that there's a lot of other things that are going on in the game right now that I want to make sure that you've already taken advantage of. Number one the OBJ. All right, everybody that's watching this video right now, if you have OBJ, write OBJ in the comment section because that's one of the main things I want you guys to have. We're gonna get to the reason why he's usable in a second and what he adds to your team and why you should try to complete that before the other promos start dropping, all right? The next thing is your ultimate legend challenges. And for those of you guys that said that you were having difficulty getting into the theme team all-star challenges, all I did was reset my game and I was able to play all of them with no issue. So if you're not able to get into the challenges still, it could be something just off right now with your system because I, you know, all the booting stuff, I even did it live on stream, I had no issue. So I just want to make sure everybody knows I'm hearing that there's a lot of things going on with these challenges and I will check them out. If it's something that affects, uh, it, you know, that affects the entire community, I will definitely check it out to make sure that, you know, it, it's also affecting me. If it's not affecting me, then I know it's not like worldwide or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So you would reset the game, go to the home screen, close app, come back, and it should be okay. Make sure that your lineup is also set properly and there's nothing missing and everybody that has an ability it's also activated sometimes that comes into play as well all right the ultimate legend challenges how many of you guys have completed all of these make sure that all of these are done at the point right now where we are you should have already received one ultimate legend for free and yes it's auctionable and at least one champion player for free you still should be due another free ultimate legend over the next couple weeks all right, so you want to make sure you're getting this stuff done. Now, why am I telling you guys about all of this free content? Because whatever they drop, it's not going to be comparable price-wise to ult you know, to golden tickets. All right? So, this is why you have to get as many coins and as, you know, as much currency as possible. Also, they're locking a lot of the price ranges, so you can't really make as much as we used to be able to make off of certain things. So that's also very important. So it doesn't really matter what the crucible is. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, typically, you know, crucible is like a, you know, like a container that you could put stuff into the mold to make, you know, other things. I don't know if they're going to do something like that where you can mesh cards together and it comes, it, it, EA Sports, I don't know exactly what goes into their mind frame when they're doing these things. So I'm just thinking about the name, like crucible, like it just sounds like very, you know, deadly, you know what I'm saying, bro? So what are they going to do to the cards is what I'm really, really trying to figure out, but it can't be any worse as what they did with the Genki Force, where they made us get like 30 cards that we already owned that was of the same overall and put it into one card to make the card not do anything. All right, so look, let's look at the golden tickets that are currently available right now, okay? Everything that's happening with the game, you'll notice that the market has been fluctuating and you probably are losing coins right now if you're holding on to the wrong type of cards. So in order to make sure that you're 100% ready for the Crucible promo, we don't know what kind of cards are going to be released, but I would take a look at the way that some of these cards are dropping in price. That is very, very important that you do that. I'm telling you right now, it's something that you guys want to focus in on because if you can get more coin, like even for like Rob Gronkowski, somebody told me like, yo, gee, I pulled him. I don't know what's going on. What should I do? And I told them, get rid of this guy because it doesn't make any sense. The users are users. It doesn't, like at this point, there's so many different variations. There really is no reason for you to be holding onto that card. If you can get 2.5 for him, I would say put him up right now. Reason being, you want to have the currency, okay? Another thing is this. If you have a golden ticket running back, you're losing coins. Even if you have like, you know, Brees Hall or whatever, some of the cheaper ones that are available, it doesn't really matter. Darian said, Ed, uh, you know, Evans, th this guy's card is like one of the, you know, the cheapest golden tickets that are there. Um, I would probably say it's time to get rid of Mike Allstock. Like I would probably say, you know what guys, if you got him, get rid of him. Because again, you can easily power up another card from the actual uh, theme team All-Stars that will be just as suitable. You know what I'm saying? And then now you're saving like 500, 600K. So when we try to prepare for the new promos, we always try to make sure currency wise we're good to go. And like I told you guys before, as far as like, you know, running backs and stuff like that, I would tell you guys right now to go after a running back that's part of the theme team all-star promos that actually gets their um, off and on 
X factors because now people that run around with shapeshifters, it doesn't really affect you. The charge up ones are really, really good. So I stopped using the uh, Vanguard for Bo Jackson that stays on because people would go off sides with Tony Gonzalez and special teams. And it's just real stupid. It's a bunch of glitches that make them take away the ability. So instead of having to go through all of that, I just use the charge up. Now it doesn't matter. They could use their momentum shift, whatever. It'll still be back within a couple plays and it just works out. Like I said before though, we went to Joe Mixon, okay, we got rid of the other Bo Jackson. Why? Because again, we have to worry about shapeshifters and momentum shift and everybody taking away our abilities. Now, this guy is getting this, all, you know, six plays on, three plays off. They use momentum shift, it's still on within another play. It doesn't really matter. Also, one of the things I want to point out, he still fumbled with Tank on a hit stick. It's the first time that I've ever seen it, so I don't really know if the cards are broken, but I will tell you this, Freight Train being on, you're gonna get crazy animations and it's gonna appear like how Eric Dickerson was in like Madden 20. Like it's really, really nasty work. So if you have a player right now that you're like, you know what, I can do without that player, do without him. Get rid of him now, power up one of the other cards, you know, you're gonna save like 700, 800K depending on who the player is. You know, even if you have that, uh, you know, William Perry, that gets the built-in freight train. You have to make sure that you're taking advantage of the way the market is. Now, with OBJ, this is the reason for a lot of you guys that are just getting into MUT, that's not really understanding abilities and what goes into it. This guy gets every single ability. Every single, well not ability, every uh, team chemistry and every chemistry. So that's why he's valuable. He's not valuable in the fact that you have to actually utilize him. You don't. But he can still add a lot to whatever theme team you're running. So I would suggest, if you're very close to getting him done, go ahead and finish it up. You do not have to start him though. You do not have to start him. You can easily and very, very simplistically just put him in the lineup and use him for what he's there for. And in the meantime, get rid of another card that has value. This card is BND. You grind the game, get him for free, get rid of another card. No matter what the promo is, you'll be able to take advantage of it because you'll have players that are there that you know you got rid of that you don't really need right now that you can still have suitable replacements. That's what the key is. Keep that in mind, okay? And that goes for offense and defense. Take advantage of these Steam Team All-Star players. Also, what's your mutt level? Have you powered up Demarcus Lawrence all the way throughout? This guy is a really, really good card. And yes, he's better than Montez Sweat, the theme team all-star. Just remember what I'm telling you because I want you guys to realize a few things, right? The reason I get rid of certain cards and the reason that I tell you cards are trash is because they are. I'm not making it up. Watch my live streams. See the cards that perform and see the ones that don't. Trust me when I tell you, start getting rid of the cards that you don't need right now and you will be 100% ready to go for the Crucible promo. Tell me what you think it's going to be. I'm going to wait for the comments. I'll see you guys and girls next time you enjoy your day. One love, y'all.